Hi, this is Chris Hoff with Printstat. What we're going to go over in today's video is we're going to go over the CR Plus Robot, Surveyor 2, and 360 Prism. What we're going to do is create a job, and then do a back site, and then get the instrument to turn to our prism. And then just go over a couple shots on how to collect some topography. So uh, thanks for viewing, and excited to show you this. So. Um, the cool thing about these Surveyor 2s is we can even uh, hit Surf CE on here, or we could also just hit this hard hat. We'll hit that hard hat. This uh, software will start loading up, and from there we'll go through, we'll start a job. I'm just going to call it um, Carlson CR Plus, and then we'll set our um, coordinate system, uh, anything related to the job, and then we'll get a backside check. So software is loading up right now. Okay, so this is what it's going to ask you every time you open up Surf CE. And what we're going to do is uh, start a new one. So we'll just call it Carlson CR Plus. And then every job is a CRD. Um, so that's short for coordinate file, and um, that's how everything's going to be laid out in this Serve CE software. So green check, just like always, so accept. So it's loading the job right now, and then this is kind of a, if you don't change much, and I can't imagine you would, the most you might change here is either your geoid or your coordinate systems. So uh, they have all the state planes in here. We're currently in PA South uh, right now, so we're just going to keep it in there. And then we can either hit uh, page or up here to change anything we might want to see how uh, information is displayed. So I usually only set these once, and then there's not much more we have to do. Uh, Carlson's nice, they give us all these options if we want to see anything different here uh, while we're collecting data or staking out. And then here is just information related to stakeout. So uh, those are pretty much default uh, once you get it set up once, and then you don't really have to change that much. But it's nice they give you that option uh, just to remind you. So I'll hit the green check. We'll continue. So what we're going to do is uh, we don't have any point coordinates right now. So it's asking you, hey, what's our starting point going to be? So um, point number one. Northing's 5,000. I like to put my easting in, at 10,000 just so it makes it easier, just in case I get an angle wrong, I'll be able to easily see that. And then I like to put my elevation at 500 just so I always have positive elevations. So uh, we'll, we'll just he go here to start and then we can hit the green check. So, next question it's going to ask is. Um, what instrument do we want to connect to? We want to connect to our CR Plus. We already did that previously. And then if you have more questions about it, we go through the settings in our previous videos. So it's going to start here, the long range Bluetooth. So we're all set up. And what we're going to do is go to a backsite setup. So we're going to go survey, store points. So we actually, if you look, we don't have any more points in the job, so it can't really, it doesn't even know where um, our point two is that we would use for our back site. So what we can do is just give it an angle. I'm just going to assume five feet. At our instrument back site point, we're going to make two, and we're going to make our uh, back site angle zero. And we'll do 515 for a backside height. So, what we can do is just go here to backside. And what we're going to do, since we don't have point coordinates, we're just going to use an azimuth to calculate. So, point two is going to be uh, directly north of point one. So, all we have to do is hit this set angle and read. The problem is I'm not locked onto our backside target yet. So what we can do is pull down here. Do we want it to turn 
So um, this always gets people. We want to turn it, if we're looking at the instrument, we want it to turn to the our left as we're looking at it, or if we want to turn it to the right. So what we'll do, tell it to turn to the right. And here we'll find our prism. Now it's looking for us vertically. Good. So now you can see we're locked onto our target, our, our 360 prism. Now we have uh, the icon is now green, meaning we're locked on there. And what you want to do is hit this uh, long button at the bottom, set angle and read. So I actually have R set up that it does a direct and a reverse on a backside reading. So now it's just shooting uh, backwards, and now it's turning right back to the forward angle. So just here's our uh, differences between the two shots, if you want to review these. So we'll just accept it. So here, we don't have any, a calculated angle because we don't have points between one and two. So it just gave us our measured angle. And there's no difference because there's nothing calculated versus measured. So, we're good, we got a good check. And then we're gonna, now it's gonna asking us to store it. So, I like to use the code DSC for backside check. And now it's asking us what our foresight height is gonna be. It's also gonna be 515. Then we'll hit the green check to accept. Now it's going to start tracking our prism. So, just a couple of the indicators here. We're locked on. We've got green here. We're using a prism. We're locked onto the prism, and now it's actually tracking. So, um, this is read. The R is read. S is store. T is traverse. O is offset. C is configure. And then if we hit this, this goes back to our robotic settings if we want to try something. If I wanted to turn, turn to an angle, check our back sight, uh, change any of our prisms, we can do that. But uh, we're good, so we're just going to hit the green check and continue. Now here, if we had a new point um, that we wanted to go to, the code and our heights, here's the angle that it's turned, 17, and then our zenith angle, and our slope distance. And now since it's tracking, when I move the prism, it's gonna update. So now I'm ready to start storing our points. So I'll go, I like to shoot our topography in the 1000s. And I'll call it a ground shot. And we're at 515. So. What I can do is hit read and then store, or I can just hit the enter button here. So I like this screen just in case I were to type anything wrong before taking the shot. So here's our point number, our height, and our code. So that's all good. And I'll hit just enter. Now we're ready for more shots. So just continue that way and uh, to collect your shots as well. Um, just another thing, some people don't like this screen with the map. Some people like this text version. So if you hit the hard hat, this is your shortcut menu. Some people like to see the text version. So all the same things you saw on the other one, except for just we have a little different um, read, store, traverse, offset, configure, and backside check. So instead of having those icons and abbreviations, we have the full words. So uh, here's where we put a point number, our height, and our code. So uh, if we want to go back to the map, we can just hit this icon right here.
and then we're right back. So um, I've got people, customers going in between those two screens and some people just keep it on this one. Uh, it's up to you, whichever uh, the user prefers. So uh, thanks for watching this video on how to take a back site and how to start shooting some topo. Thank you. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Uh, but if you have more questions than what we covered here or uh, want to learn something else, uh, we'll have more videos in the future or you can contact us directly. Uh, one, num one way is our phone number. It's 1-800-811-9889. Uh, you can also go to our website at printostat.com or you can even send uh, myself an email. It's survey at printostat.com. So thanks and uh, let me know if you have any questions.